Salam alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. <laughs> Everybody is here. <laughs> it's time out for you and me to stop running away from the wolf right into the arms of the fox, looking for some kind of help. That's a drag. In you. He's trapping you. He doesn't call it violence when he lands troops in South Vietnam. Honey, please, please, please. He doesn't call it violence when he lands troops in Berlin. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, he didn't say get nonviolent. He said, praise the Lord, but pass the ammunition. My reason for believing in extremism, intelligently directed extremism, Extremism in defense of liberty, extremism in quest of justice is because I firmly believe in my heart that the day that the black man takes an uncompromising step and realizes that he's within his rights when his own freedom is being jeopardized to use any means necessary to bring about his freedom or put a halt to that injustice, I don't think he'll be by himself. I live in America where there are only 22 million blacks against probably 160 million whites. One of the reasons that I'm in no way reluctant or hesitant to do whatever is necessary to see that black people do something to protect themselves, I honestly believe that the day that they do, many whites will have more respect for them and that there'll be more whites on their side than are now on their side with these little wishy-washy love thy, love thy enemy uh, approach that they've been using up to now. And if I'm wrong, then you are racialist. <laughs> and I might add, in my conclusion, in fact, America is one of the best examples when you read its history about extremism. Old Patrick Henry said, liberty or death. That's extreme. <laughs> Very extreme. And, and yes, we have a lot of black writers and photographers and journalists out here in the audience. And I think that, frankly, I'd like to point them all out to you so that when you see what they write, you'll know them. <laughs> and they'll know that you know them. And they'll always write right. Right? Right. Right. That's, that's the only way you get a good job done. Let everybody know where it's at. <laughs>